whole strategy of, of uh, Putin is to, to, to spread fear uh, in the West and among the neighbors, among Finland and Sweden, who are now planning to, to, to most likely to take the decision to join NATO even together. Russian army helicopter violated Finland's airspace yesterday morning, the second time this has happened this year. Finland is expected to formally apply next week to join NATO. Let's speak to Heidi Hotala, vice president of the European Parliament and Finnish MEP for the Green Party. She's been warning about the threat of Russia to Finland for many years and she joins us now. Good morning to you. Heidi, can you hear me? Okay, we're just okay. Now I'm unmuted. Yes, good morning. Good morning from Strasbourg. We've all done it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Thank you very much for 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 joining us. Um, how um uh how uh how many other people agree with you? How many other people within the parliament agree with you? If you had to put a a kind of a percentage on it, uh, in terms of wanting to join uh, NATO, how strong is that support amongst parliamentarians? Yeah, we're obviously talking about the Finnish parliament because uh, they have to take the decision in the coming two weeks. Uh, I would say um, uh, all parties, except perhaps uh, the left party who is hesitating to some extent, are uh, turning to be in favour. So this means a huge overwhelming majority of the Finnish uh, members of parliament in, in, in Finland. And this may seem like a silly question, but... Why? Because, I mean, obviously Ukraine, uh, well, the situation in Ukraine did not come out of the blue. There there had been um, uh, events, obviously, since 2014. Yes. Ukrainians would say perhaps even before that. But, you know, Finland has never been um, attacked in any way. There's never, you know, there have never been any, any particular incident. So why mm. does Finland want to join NATO? Because that's, you know, you, you are a famously neutral country and that will be the end of that neutrality. Well, um, there are many things here. Um, Finland uh, declared it's a non-aligned country, not a neutral country, when it joined the European Union in 1995. So this is a signal that already becoming a part of the European Union is uh, um, a certain uh, giving up uh, of of neutrality. Mm. And second, of course, uh, the older people and the the children and grandchildren of older people uh, are very aware of uh, the the four wars that Finland uh, fought against the Soviet Union between 1939 and 1944. So there is this trauma uh, that uh, people know that we have a neighbor that is uh, unpredictable and uh, wants to show its uh, military muscles. But um, it is true that um, perhaps until 2014 with the occupation of Crimea, there was this feeling that, okay, perhaps uh, if we continue to build uh, friendly economic ties with Russia, uh, even with Putin's Russia, everything will somehow gradually turn uh, towards democracy and respect of good neighborly relations. But then uh, the 24th of uh, of, uh, February this Mm -hmm. year, I would say overnight, it uh, it was a shock because It had not been thought that uh, our neighbor could attack uh, unprovoked in a neighboring country. And Mm. then the opinion polls turned very strongly in favor of joining NATO. And then I I need to say that Finland is a very close partner of NATO since many years. Our national defense uh, is totally aligned with NATO standards. So it would be a very easy joining of NATO, Mm. taking into account that the 30 uh, members of NATO would have to accept it. Yes. Um, There's obviously going to be um, uh, a a time lag between uh, applying and being accepted and, and joining. Do you have concerns about that period? Do you think that Russia, um, because they seem to be quite depleted, they seem to be quite uncoordinated, coordinated, would be able to launch some kind of attack. But what, how do you see the Russian, um, the Russian threat to Ukraine over the next couple of months? Um, well, Russia has proven to be extremely dangerously unpredictable, uh, recognizing no limits in its uh, uh, offensive against the Ukraine. So we, we can't know for sure. And I think the whole strategy of, of uh, Putin is to, to, to spread fear uh, in the West and among the neighbors, among Finland and Sweden, who are now planning to, to, to most likely to take the decision to join NATO even together. So, uh, mm. yes, we, we have to be prepared. Cyber attacks, 
um, violations of airspace, which you mentioned. So all sort of signals that Russia is uh, is disapproving of, of the developments. But of course, it's paradoxical that with the uh, attack against Ukraine, uh, Putin has now achieved uh, a close to application of uh, membership of Sweden and Finland to uh, NATO. Is this what he called for? And I don't think he wanted to have this, but this is the outcome of this attack. Okay, well, listen, thank you very much for talking to us. It's uh, really interesting. That is uh, Heidi Hotala, Vice President of the European Parliament and Finnish MEP for the Green Party. It's seven. Nine-